Um, first off, you know, uh, hats off to Minnesota and uh, Ben. You know, he's been doing a great job all season. And, uh, you know, just for us to be in the same situation this year um, with our teams and everything else, like hats off to him. Like I'm like so proud of him as a competitor and as another um, head coach in this league that like, um, you know, to, to be able to stand on the sidelines next to him and compete is, is, is fun. And it's something that hopefully we get a chance to do for a long time. Um, so hats off to them. I thought they played great. Um, but I don't know. Like, we put ourselves in position, and uh, we got to be able to finish late games. Coach, uh, you know, when you see a, a kid like, or not a kid anymore, Eric Curry come out and have a career game, and he's battling an ankle injury for the last several games. Probably didn't expect yeah, I, I mean, you know, well, he played great, and you know, he made those shots that we were, you know, we were willing to give him. Like those are um, the way our defense is set up. You try and give up twos, and you try and give up long twos. And uh, Peyton Willis does a great job of holding your guard on his back and then throwing it back out to him, and he made them. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, he took 19 shots to get you know 22 points. Right? That's that's what we look at as a defense that should be pretty good. Um, you know, our game plan was to slow down Peyton Willis and slow down Jameson Battle. Jameson took seven shots tonight, right? So, you know, what we did, how they countered it, it, it eliminated some of the shots that he takes for one of the most potent scores in the league. So, um, but yeah, Eric played great. Like, you know, on the glass, the way he rebounded, uh, those, the shots that he made. Um, you know, scoring in the post, he did a little bit of everything. And, uh, you know, hats off to him. And we got a quick turnaround, and, you know, we got to make a decision how we guard him the next time we play him. Can you talk about that real quick, just the uniqueness of Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, you know, it's different. Um, you know, fortunately, I've coached in the NBA, so it's not the first time I've ever been through it. Uh, we used to do it all the time. I right? play somebody, you might play them the very next night or two nights later. So um, you got to look at what you did well, what you didn't do well. I didn't think we were very disciplined defensively. I thought, you know, we were we were behind plays a lot because our discipline. And they got some open looks. We got behind plays. Now they're getting some other things that are happening. And we were better at that in the second half. But 76 points is too much. Right? We, we've been one of the better defensive teams in this league all season. And they kind of controlled, you know, what they wanted to do, and we weren't we weren't as aggressive as we needed to be. Um, so, you know, there's a chance right there where we got to be better the next time. I, and it's, you know, we talked about holding some of those other guys down. Like you put so much attention on Willis and so much attention on Battle, but you let Lowy and Stevens go off. Right? That that's the that's the discipline mindset right there of a team where. Like, hey, I'm not guarding one of the best guys. I can take a breath. No, you can't take a breath. Because, like I said it to these guys before the game, role players play better at home. They play better at home. And, like, not to knock those two guys, but, you know, 85 90% of the guys playing college basketball are role players. Um, and every team has about eight or nine of them. Um, you can't let those guys go off and beat you. And that's what they did. Those guys went off and beat us.